in this video we will discuss a uh, particular application of a decoder so the question uh, you can get in the exam is that design a full order circuit so design a full order circuit using a decoder with appropriate number of decoders or logic gates that is required so how to design a full order using a decoder because we know a decoder is a kind of input which takes n number of inputs and gives two to the power n number of outputs so how to design a order in that we know in order so if there is a order circuit then we will have a sum and then we have a carry so there are two outputs we need to design here so before proceeding to how to design with decoder we need to know what is the truth table of a full order so here you can see the truth table of a full order is given so where the inputs are x y z three input bits are there which needs to be added and after that one carry is generated and one sum is generated so this is a basic typical full order truth table so nothing uh, very complex thing to uh, explain here for example if you see the first line that is 0 plus 0 plus 0 the carry is 0 and the sum is equals to 0 if you see the second line so it is 0 plus 0 plus 1 so here the carry generated will be 0 and the sum will be 1 similarly if you see the last row so 1 plus 1 plus 1 so here the answer is actually 1 1 so here the carry is 1 and the sum is also taken as 1 so this is what the basic truth table of a full adder so now from the truth table we can write that in the format of the canonical form or the SOP format so for sum what is the expression so how to write that so see sum is 1 here so this is 1 this is sum is 1 here this is 2 sum is 1 here this is 4 and this is 7 that means wherever the value of the sum is equals to 1 we will consider that places and we will write the canonical form similarly for carry also we will get this place is 3 and then this place will be your uh, 5 6 and 7 so 3 5 6 7 is written here now these are the canonical form so what information we are getting here according to the input according to the three input we have taken here so sum is equals to addition of first second fourth and seventh output right now if i consider the same thing in terms of let's say i'll erase all this and let us consider that this is a decoder circuit these inputs are given to a decoder let's say in that case what i can do so decoder will be d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 and d7 will be there because this is a three input system we have eight outputs will be there so if i consider the decoder system here then 0 0 0 will correspond to d0 is 1 and all other values will be equals to 0 so 0 0 1 this will give me d1 as 1 and all other values will be 0 so that is we know from the decoder so i am not writing that uh, uh, fully so next is since there are three inputs and total eight mean terms are there so we need a three cross eight decoder right so because three input is there obviously you can construct a three cross eight decoder now next is the decoder generates the eight mean terms for x y and z so the decoder will generate all the mean term decoder will generate d0 it will generate d1 it will generate d2 so corresponding to each and every input there will be output means some decoder value will be equals to one so what we need to find we need to find that which are the terms or which are the outputs so for that i am getting the sum value is equals to one so how to know that so see here so this one is d1 this is d2 and this will be your d4 this will be your d7 right so what i can do here is i can write that sum is equals to d1 plus d2 plus d4 and plus d7 right so sum is generated by only these two terms only these four terms so next are other terms like d0 is there then d3 then d5 and d6 so all these numbers are output will be there but it will not be the sum so sum is only these two four numbers sum is available only at these two only at these four uh, outputs similarly if i consider the carry then what will be carry carry will be equals to d sorry d3 plus d5 plus d6 plus d7 okay so this will be my carry so now i can understand that from the one decoder 
आई नीड वन आउटपुट हुई चिल गिव मी द सम वैल्यू आई नीड अनदर आउटपुट हुई चिल गिव मी द सी वैल्यू दैट मीन्स टू आउटपुट आई नीड बट फॉर ए डी कोडर देर आर एट आउटपुट सो हाउ टू डू दैट सो द और गेट ऑफ द आउटपुट एस फ्रॉम द लॉजिकल सम ऑफ द मिन टर्म्स वन टू फोर एंड सेवन एंड और गेट ऑफ सी पुट एज द लॉजिकल मिन टर्म्स ऑफ थ्री फाइव फोर सेवन वट डज दैट लाइन मीन्स सो लेट एस सी द फिगर हियर नाउ यू जस्ट कंपेयर दिस टू फिगर्स सो वट इज सम डी वन प्लस डी टू प्लस डी फोर प्लस डी सेवन सो डी वन प्लस डी टू प्लस डी फोर प्लस डी सेवन सो सी हियर ऑल दिस वैल्यूज आर कनेक्टेड टू वन और गेट so that means it will give me this particular expression so that is my sum here and uh, carry is d3 d5 d6 d7 so see here d3 d5 d6 and d7 is already there so with the or gate we will get the carry value here so now what is the full structure is looking like so this is my three inputs okay next is this is my decoder part and after decoder with the required points or the required outputs we are connecting to that is or gate and we are getting the sum and same is for the uh, carry as well okay so this is how you can design a full order using a decoder